Hi, it's Russ, and I've got myself a copy of Virtual CZ from Plugin Boutique. And this is an emulation of the Casio Phase Distortion PD synthesis that we had in these synths in the 80s, CZ101, CZ5000, CZ1000, uh, CZ1. There's all sorts of different models, and it was very like Yamaha FM synthesis. Didn't probably qu catch on quite as much, but it was still very popular. It was affordable, so it found itself on uh, lots of uh, records of the era. And now Plugin Boutique have emulated it, but they've done something quite cool as well. So it's not only a virtual synth that you can use in your door, but also you can use it as a editor if you've got the hardware version of these 80 synths. If you've got one lying in the shed or in the attic, if you've actually got one in your studio still, then you can actually edit it on this. And then via MIDI SysX, you can send it across to the synth. So what I'm gonna show you today is this and how it works and the setup of it and uh, let you hear some sounds. I've just knocked a little tune together just to give you a quick kind of demo of some of the sounds. You can of course download this yourself and demo it. So the it's a one screen plugin, so I don't have to go, go, go through lots of different screens to find stuff. Uh, and what we have on the left hand side is the noise generation here. We've got line one and line two, uh, dual oscillator. And so we can use one or both of those. And then in the center here, you can see as well the numbers represent different waveforms whether that's saw wave or square wave and different versions of the wave if you actually click on them you can actually see them then reso wave reso one two and three uh, double sign and uh, saw pulse as i say we can then use it on this side as well if you want to use uh, two lines of it as well uh, then we've got the detune setting here and then we've got the mix setting here how they work together then we've got the vibrato side of it and the modulation side of it. And that can work free or in sync with a host. You can choose the shape of the vibrato as well. So you could use sample and hold to create some kind of uh, sequence effect or arpeggiated type style effect. And there's a few of those in the presets. Then over on this side, we can run it in poly, legato, or mono. And in mono, we can then go to unison mode on a sound. And we could go up to eight voices and then detune it. So for example, if I came here, and let's have a quick look. Let's just turn it back onto poly a second. Let's see what we've got to this is the sound at the moment. So I think let me just go through and find ourselves just a simple, nice. Let's see what the polysynth's made of. Yeah, that's made of. of uh, let's turn the chorus off for a second. Put it in mono mode. Put that on eight voices. Get nice big stacked saws. Of course, you want to make that even bigger. We can then add some chorus in. Do that kind of thing. Then we have all of our modulation. So we've got pitch, DCW envelope, and amp envelope. Now, it may look a little odd because this actually emulates the original way that it was done in the CZ architecture. Now, the cool thing is that if you come down here, if you hit this button, ADSR, then it gives you something that was probably much more familiar to those that are used to working in synthesis. It gives you the regular ADSR of pitch envelope, DCW envelope, and amp envelope, and you can flip between the two. Now, the benefit of using these is that these are far more complex. If I move something here, you'll see straight away that I can grow this into a much more complex envelope. Let's say five settings. Now we've got a five-step envelope. We can do all sorts of stuff with now. ADSR is just going to give us a three-stage envelope, really, which you're, most of us would be used to. So there are two options there. And really, that's there's not much more else to it in terms of setup and uh, getting around it. The one thing I'd like to say is there is some good banks in here. Bank A and Bank B, D and E are made up of sounds from new programmers. But Bank C, the DS bank, is one of the guys that worked on the original synths. And so well worth checking those out that he's put some of the stuff that he's probably very used to doing in the original synth. So let's have a quick listen to some of the kind of sounds you can get from it. So I just knocked this tune as I say. Let me just solo this first. So you've got this kind of bass sound first. Now 
Now, because it's a bass sound, what I could do is I could go to mono there and... Or just thicken it by making it mono. Come to the DCW bit. Make it more clicky. Now I've got a second synth underneath that then. Nice big wide. Those together. You can hear get some really nice basses. Now this isn't treated, this is just the synth you're hearing. There's no compression, there's no distortion on it, uh, there's no other effects on it. It's just what comes out of the synth. Now put this sound in as well, which is the kind of sound you would have heard from the original CZ. And as I say, we can go through then and we can... Very easy to program. And again, I've... Another sound reminiscent of the early sort of CZ sound, that PD sound. It was very, as I say, very like FM, so good for hard sounds. It was never going to compete with the Juno 60s and things like that of the day. They were the warm analogs. This was the sound that gave you that nice edgy 80s digital sound. But uh, it has a real place in... in music production. So the sounds like this are really great to come out of PD. Put them together. But that said, this is a polysynth sound. I think it's a really, really nice and unique sound. I think that's what I'd say about this. The Virtual CZ is a unique sound. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there that will give you big, warm, lush string sounds and that will give you really nice real sounds from uh, samplers. But the CZ, this is a, a nice rendition of their original CZ architecture. And the added bonus that if you have the hardware, then you can use this as the editor and then send stuff across via MIDI SysX. I think it's a great little synth. It's well worth checking out and uh, downloading the demo and uh, taking a look for yourself. If you're a, a lover of 80s sounds, a lover of 80s music and uh, all that that meant in terms of these kind of synths, it was a, it was a really great period for, for uh, synthesis. I know Moogs had been around 10 or 15 years before, but uh, all these digital stuff that came, such as this and the uh, stuff from Korg and the stuff from Yamaha and the stuff from Roland, this was up there with the rest of them. It may have not been as expensive as the rest, but it had some really great sounds. And I think it's well worth checking out if you want some really nice, unique sounds. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.